G'day mate and welcome back to Satisfactory with me, JD. We're coming in the sunset, so this is means I'm going to put in some cuts anyway. But, I've driven back to base, and before I do anything else, I want to... Well, I've done a few things. Okay, so on the right hand side you can see I've already equipped all the crap I might need to get power out to where our oil is, get stackable power... Uh, stackable... stackable belts all the way back to here. Um, along with um, conveyor belts. So I've literally gone in here and just added what I think I might need. Um, and you can hold down shift to go up and down by 10 items. And then handcrafted the heavy modular frames, picked up all the other stuff we needed. But before I do anything else, I want to go through our haul from our explorer. Uh, that, that, that. And I guess these two can come out as well. So yeah, I said it'd be night time in any second. But it's alright, we're, we're in the HUD. There's, there's lots of lights in here, so I'm going to put that there, that there. Uh, all our alien carcasses go with our other alien carcasses. We're going to craft up some power shards. Craft up some more power shards. To overclock all the things. Drop those in there. We've got a hard drive which we can take in here. Now, analysis of the container mill is complete. Ooh, we've got a new one. Hang on. New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and electronics, Ooh. and can now be accessed in hub tier three. Inventory slots, and then we can make the ingots. We can scan for the wire that we found. We get quick wire. We get power pole mark two, and we get blade runners. Uh, well, actually, that's easy enough. We can probably supply all of this with our eyes closed. Um, okay. There is some reinforced plate in the truck that I want to get rid of anyway. Uh, ah. Reinforced plate. That one. Uh, put that in there. And then... Put those back. And rotors. Split stack. 25. We'll take it 25. And click. And click. Bye bye drone. Caterium acquisition unlocked. Additional to new equipment, building and parts utilizing basic Caterium properties. R&D insisted on inflating your pocket dimension. I love it when they insist on inflating the pocket dimension. Okay, so we want 100 quick wire as our next research. Uh, quick wire needs can, 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 cat ingots. Which is this stuff, yep. Uh, we did research, there we go. Handcrafting! Oh wow, that takes four. Most of the other ingots only take two. A uh, hundred quick wire, that's how much we need. So we'll just handcraft what we need to get the man running. Then we can run away and leave it alone. One more, there we go. Handcraft that up. That's not bad, you get four wire for one ingot. Come on. Uh, deposit. Go research. Do we get anything else in here? Ooh. Blade runners. You're not going to tell me what you do. Okay, we need four rotors and 50 quick wire. Do I have enough? No. No. We're going to be short. Okay. Uh, run back out to the truck, pick up the stuff I had from the truck. Re get the stuff that I sent off to. Which is, according to my list, 300 wire. 
uh, leave the hard drive there until next time. And cable. So I need cable for power connections. Okay. Well, right here is where I'm going to put in a cut. And I'll probably see you in the morning out at our oil location because, let's be honest, I'm running power poles and I'm running, um, I'm running power poles and I'm, oh, do eat the barrel nuts. Um, I'm running power poles and I'm running, um, belts either that way or back, either or. Um, and the only other thing I'm going to do on the way past, I'm going to pick up some more of this Kenterium, Kenterium ore. Um, from our belt location. So, yeah. You're not really going to miss anything. Um, apart from me flipping the truck. So, I will see you guys when we're back. Alright. Bye. And welcome back. So, I drove all the way out here and I forgot we laid out power poles last time. Uh, no, I don't want to drive the truck. I'm going to actually pack the truck up, put it in my inventory. Because we're pretty much going to be running back from here. Because I've got to lay down... Um, all the power pole, all the, um, those things, the, uh, stackable thingamajiggy bobs on the way back. So, I don't remember where these guys are. Well, ding, ding. better dig in this direction. Right there. Okay. Uh, no, not the oil refinery. We want the oil pump. One of them. There's a power pole. Actually, we'll just hook up the power now before I forget. Now, these things produce 240 oil per minute. But they do chew 40 megawatts worth of power. Ouch. What does that do to our power? Actually, not a lot. I thought it would be way worse. Okay. Oil. I did that one. 100 meters that way. So, I'm, first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get all three belts close to one another. And then we're going to have to build stackable poles. And then, because it is one hell of a hike, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna no not the oil refinery the oil pump uh, I want logistics mark three belts that's all of them yep uh, yeah I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run one belt back. I'll build the infrastructure layer in all three. But I think it's more important that we get one belt all the way back to base. Because I've already used a hundred of the reinforced beams. Just to get that short distance. Um, and that's one of the things I'm worried about. Just how many, how many steel beams... I'm going to use, and did I bring enough in my inventory? And the answer is probably not. Uh, I should be able to pop. Come on. You on top. And we should be able to go from that machine into there. Yep. And then I want to get from that machine. Come on. Yep. Up to, I don't know, how far can I go? There. To here. To... It's a tunnel, okay? Don't ask. There it is. It's, it's a tunnel, okay? Woo! Ah! Yep, mark three belts. Mark three belts, good for throwing you far across the map. Uh... 
maximum reach is almost. my third item okay so like I said I'm just gonna run no actually we'll run the topmost belt so I know everything below that is oil because I can honestly see that we're gonna have a fair bit of um, resources running down essentially a highway back to base So yeah, I'm going to put in another cut here because you guys don't really need to see me run belts. I'm, I'm pretty sure you know how running belts works. Um, there's lots of build, 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 click, 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 apply belt. Um, it's pretty boring and rudimental. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys after the cut when hopefully I'm back at base and I haven't had to do too many supply runs for more belt because I've already used half of what I brought with me. So yeah! Alright, I'll see you guys after the cut. And welcome back. So, you might be saying, JD, this is not the base. This is not a base full of oil barrels. You're, you'd be entirely right. Um, I decided to stop at our Catatarium Ore and pick up that on the way back. And I remember we've got a, we've got a crash site up here that needs one bit of quick wire. So, we're going to go make some quick wire. Um, except I need to craft the quick wire, which requires some iron. And I've got no iron. Um, so we're going to pick up these conveyor belts to make some iron to craft just a tiny bit of that, to craft some of that, to pack that up. So let's go say hello to this crash site. Which, according to my beacon, just needed one bit of quick wire. Oh, uh, do not fall, JD. Come on. How do I get up here? Mm. There we go. There we go. Uh, thank you. Pull handle. Done. Pull up my hard drive. Uh, turns out you didn't need power. Uh, we'll go back down our ramp. Pull up that because. We're absolutely poor on resources. As for my effort to attempt to go get... Um, uh, oh, there's the conveyor, conveyor pole. Um, as for my effort to get the belt back, well, I obviously ran out of materials. That's why we're here. Um, I then started using Mark 1 belts. And then I ran out of Mark 1 belts. And... Nope. We need to go this way to get back there. Uh, through that hole. Through the hole, through the hole. Crunch. Okay. Pack up tractor. Front forth. Uh, face tractor right direction. And put tractor back down. Uh, have... Where'd your fuel go? I lost the fuel. It was running on oil power. Um, yeah, where was I? I... I got like halfway down the beach on Mark 3 belts. And then made the transition. I'm like, I've got Mark 1 belts here. I can lay the belts in and we'll just upgrade them later. Which got me to the end of the beach. 
and then I was out of iron, and I was out of steel beams. And yeah, it, 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 it did not go as planned. Um, which is fine. We'll just make a quick jaunt back to base and pick up some more materials and we'll go... Well, I'll go finish building and you guys will just see with the magic of editing, it all happen after the fact. But, because we've got the more ore, I want to go find out what these Blade Runners do. Because I hear Blade Runner was a really good movie. Um, I could honestly say that I... I've seen the new one, but I'm pretty sure you sort of need to see the old one. And I tried watching the old one and eh, I don't know, I just didn't get, didn't get into it. So now you can go flame me in the comments. Um, how much quick water do we need? Like a hundred, I think. Uh, you, that, that. Oh, and a hard drive to go with it. Actually, we should pull out a hard drive because we're going to go put it in the machine. Uh, and they're going to have too much quick wire, but that's fine. It's better to have too much rather than enough. Uh, so, what did the Blade Runners need? They needed three rotors. Mm, rotors are that box. Uh, split stack. Three, please. Thank you. Uh, make a pair of Blade Runners. Okay, now we can hover over them. Slot body. An exoskeleton for your lower legs assists your movement, allowing you to sprint faster and jump higher. Also damages the landing impact. Okay, so we can jump to... No, wrong button. I can jump high enough, I can just see over our... Oh, wow. Hang on, can I now jump straight? No, not quite. But I can definitely jump a lot higher. Oh, and I'm moving so much faster. That's now going to be faster than the tractor. At least it feels like it. Okay. Crap. All my jumps are going to be off now. Alright. Have you finished analyzing that? Oh, wait. It's super good. New technologies have been developed based on this new element, primarily in power and power? electronics, and can now be accessed in Hub Tier 5. Smart Splitter, AI Limiter, and AI Limiters are a super advanced electronics that are used to control AIs and keep them from evolving in malicious ways. Very important. Supercomputer is the next gen version of the computer and a high speed connector connects several cables and wires in a very efficient way. It uses a standard pattern so its applications are many and varied. And a smart splitter. Splits the conveyor belt in three. You can set a rule which part should go left and which part should go right. There you go. Okay. Apart from a thousand quick wire, I can actually have that right now. Uh, I can have that one right now as well, couldn't I? Okay, uh, but we're going to research another hard drive because we love those alternate recipes. And I'm going to run away and I'm going to see you guys uh, after another break where hopefully I'm back at base with all the material we actually need because, yep, it's taking a lot longer than I expected to get crap back to base. Sort. Take all. That solves a lot of problems. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys. I don't know, in like five seconds, according to video editing. So yeah, I'll see you then. And we're back. So as you can see, we made it. We made it all the way across to well, I decided here. Here was as good a spot as any. We've got our steel production down here. Um, and we've got this this fairly large area up here, which I figured would be a fairly good spot to, you know, start looking at our, our oil products. Um, but first thing I wanna do before we do anything else um, is I wanna run back to base and I wanna see what that hard drive has for us. Um, at the same time, we're going to pick up the other hard drive and see what it has. Because you never know, you know. We might be able to get two alternate recipes done in one episode. Uh, 
Um, honestly, I've been recording for an hour now, and I think I've got 15 minutes worth of footage between all the cuts. Um, so we probably won't get two hard drives done, but we'll definitely get one hard drive done. Um, and now we've got Blade Runners, so running halfway across the map. It's not nearly as bad as it, you know, as it could be. No, it's in here. Uh, we'll take that hard drive out. And so we have an alternate encased industrial beam, an alternate, alternate rubber cable, and an alternate iron ingot, which takes one iron and one copper, and we go from 30 per minute up to 45. So technically that's cheap. Her, but that means every single time we want iron, we're gonna source copper as well. Um, I think we're gonna go for this one because cable's really, really cheap, and copper currently only has one use: is turning the cable. Well, that and rotors and a, a few other things. But yeah, we're gonna go for the encased industrial beams no idea if it's an improvement or not um but we're gonna throw another data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes yep another hard drive in we'll find out what that one's what's on that one next episode so i brought the oil barrels across we've only got one line running so far but one line is 240 oil per minute so hopefully that's enough to keep us busy and um, the other thing i brought across is i brought the cat ore across as well now i don't know where we're going to process the cat ore and as far as i know currently it only turns into quick wire um but we've made it this far so this far is a start um we'll work out we'll work out the finer details later um power pole you because power is going to be important. Now, I've got to remember that we do have a truck running down here. And to the person who's already probably furiously gone down in the comment section and say, Why didn't you run a truck, JD, rather than having um, the, 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 you know, spending an hour running belts? Um, the main reason is they're not terribly reliable. That went down with a cathud. Um, yeah, the trucks are... They need a bit more eye in their AI. Let's be, to be perfectly honest. Um, so we're going to line a splitter up. Yeah. And I'm going to hook... Nope, wrong belt. I want that belt. Just it straight in. Done. Uh, hopefully we can use a Mark 1 belt over there. You... So I've only got three recipes. Plastic, fuel, and rubber. And... Let's start with plastic. Because I have no idea what any of these do. So, you're going to take in 30 per minute of our 240. And you're going to output plastic. Now... One of the things that I really wish I'd done a bit more all over the map is literally that. Well, I've got an output. Let's put it straight into a storage container. Uh, let's bring this back up. I want you to go back into number three. Um, just, just store stuff straight away. Just have buffers everywhere. And actually, before you get too full, hopefully I can put the... No. Go away, wildlife. Well, wildlife. Nature. Go away, nature. Okay, so that's one recipe. We're going to put down production, another oil refinery for the next recipe. Uh, you're 100% backward. Drop that there. 
does have a really good thud to it. And I also want a craft bench, you know. I want the chainsaw to go away because I hate the sound. Um, okay, so new recipes we've unlocked. We've unlocked plastic, which leads to a circuit board. So a circuit board is wire and plastic, which is really not that hard. Uh, and that will happen in an assembler. I'm missing the rotors four, of course I am. Rotors are, actually there's a belt of rotors over here. See, I love the jump height now. I'm, I'm still getting used to it, but I definitely love the speed. The speed's the really big one. So one of these two belts carries rotors. The top belt, uh, that's a good spot to jump on the belt. How many do we need? Oh, and I need modular frames. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Uh, assembler. I have to make 10 of them. I don't want to make 10 of them. Just one. All right, run back to where we were. Now we're gonna need copper. Does it happen to some copper locally? We can literally just tap into. Uh, 500 meters that way. Because I'm going to untap copper. It, it, it's just easier just to make copper wire exactly where I need it and run it across. Uh, although I think this one we fully tapped already. Now whether there's anything spare on the belt is a different story. Yeah, that's one hell of a fall. And the blade runners just absorb the whole thing. Oh, copper. Those belts look very, very, very idle. Okay, so you're outputting 30 per minute, and you're outputting 30 per minute. So we've got 60 on this belt, and what are we doing with our 60? We're running it into one smelter, which is only using half that amount. Okay, so I've got 30 copper ore right there, which I want to take to over there. Uh, logistics, splitter. Probably here, actually. Come on. It's, like I said, it's so much easier to just stand on the line and do these things. Okay. I'm going to use stackables to the first person who's, again, probably down in the comments yelling at me for my spaghetti. Straight over there. Come on. From there. Into there. Then we're going to need production smelter. Right about here, let's say. So that belt can feed into the back of that. You're going to do some copper ingots. Uh, that power pole can plug into that. Then... Constructor. You're going to do wire. I actually run two of these doing... to split up and now sell, sell straight over things that's sort of interesting okay uh, put that on there run that in there run that power pole to there you're going to do wire as well which should be 90 which in the past we couldn't really run terribly easily but now due to even faster belts that's 
that's no longer really an issue. Okay, that one goes in there, that one goes in there. So we've got wire, we've got plastic. Mm. I'm gonna make sure I dodge the dodge the, the tractor path. Because I really don't want to reprogram that tractor yet. See, that tractor carries coal. And it carries coal for steel production. If it goes and gets lost or falls off the map, which both have happened in other people's saves, uh, it's not really the end of the world. It does mean our steel production will stop. This rocks can disappear. Yep, don't ask how chainsaws get rid of rocks. It's just a thing. Okay, that one. Alright, so let's put... I mean, it's not the end of the world. Um, I wouldn't trust it with power, because that would be the end of the world. Uh, you're going to make circuit boards, which needs 60, and we've got 90, and 30 plastic, and you output slightly more than 30 plastic, don't you? No, you don't even output 30 plastic. Uh, okay, well, because you only need 60, I'm going to use two on your belts. I'm probably going to upgrade you straight to tier 3 belts because I just saw how many resources I didn't have. Uh, mark 3 belt. Mark 3 belt. Uh, power connection. From here. Here. To here. To organization, storage container. Oh, I did well on straight on lining that up, didn't I? Okay, storage container. If we're gonna do it, let's just turn it completely sideways and run it in there. Okay, so we're now making circuit boards. We have Wow, that's a lot of power. We're gonna have you make rubber. And again, storage container. Right in front. And you are doing grand total of 30 per minute, which is not too bad. Oh, let me get another power pole here. Not there. Okay, I'm gonna get my mergers done and then I will get a power pole done. Uh, Splitter. Uh, I want that direction. Can we get some sort of line up here? Uh, mark 3 belt, into there. Okay, mark 1 belt, into there. Then we'll do a power connection. Okay, so we got rubber. Which has just made the power go even higher. Uh, and then finally... Uh, production... Running out of room. It still sounds impressive every single time. Every single time I hear it, it sounds impressive. Come on, that's it. Put that, sure, that'll do. Uh, conveyor belt. From there, in there. A Mark 3 belt in there. Power connection in there. You're going to do fuel, which is 60 barrels. So we've got. Actually, one of you guys can have what's in my inventory. You. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we've got 60 barrels, we've got 30 barrels, and we've got 30 barrels of the 240 barrels we're bringing in. So. Yeah, we're bringing a lot of material in, a lot, and we're doing very, very little with it. Um, I think the biggest catch is... I uh, can't afford, really? Uh, but I know it's overkill, don't, don't even tell me. But she give me back the little bit of iron I need. Put down another storage container. Uh, can't afford. Yeah, uh, we 
logistics conveyor belt line three. It's overkill. Hey, that's a lot of fuel. How much fuel do you output? Thirty-seven and a half. So the biggest issue we're going to have is going to be power. Where is a power pump? Right there. Oh yeah, yeah. And that is assuming my coal lines can keep up because I have split my coal lines several times. Um, and I do run the risk that we're pulling too much coal off the belt. I can overclock them more and we can just max out our our physical coal line. Um, but yeah, we're going to need to look at power. Which probably means we need to go unlock some new lovely research. Um, because there was one for better power back at the hub. So that runs that way. Mm. The belt's not running flat out, but it's not exactly idle either. So, yeah. But if you leave the factory running long enough, things will back up. When things back up, that'll that'll obviously lower your power production. By the same token, if I turn things on by taking stuff out of storage, that'll do the exact opposite. It'll kick more things on. So, um, because why not? Uh, steel is there. Steel screws. There we go. So that's unlocked. Enhanced power infrastructure, which needs computers, which we can't make. Uh, okay. So I'm going to launch off this one right now, actually. Uh, what do we need? Two and a half thousand. Three, four, five cables, which are beside that. One, two, three. Uh, modular frames, which are that one, 50. And again, this is just kicked on. Possibly kicked on. Some large parts of the base. That's motors, that one. Which will put more draw on our base. Done. Milestone reached. Mm. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. So we have access to a truck that has 25 slot inventory, that has a 48 slot inventory. So carries more crap also looks much larger much larger uh, we've now got access to power pole mark 2 yeah because that was a quick wire one the manufacturer uh, can be automated by filling parts into it with conveyor blah 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 cross three or four parts into another part holy shit that's massive okay and we now have a computer which needs plastic and circuit boards and to do that one we need 50 of them and 50 of these which up until now we've had to handcraft because they have more than two materials and now they'll have now we can automate those as well so we have lots and lots of things to do which will need more and more power and our power is maxed out so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Next episode, we're going to have a lot to do. Obviously, we need to fix power. We need to get the research done to probably fix power and take it forward from there. So, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye.